Hi, this is Bobby and this is today's opinion. Today's opinion is about the St. Louis Cardinals and their first half. They are five and a half games out. They're a game behind Chicago. Not acceptable. What we need to do is keep Fam in center, Fowler in left, bench Piscotti, have him go to Memphis, have him figure it out, stop worrying about hurting his feelings. If Gritchick and Wong are going to get benched, he needs to get benched too. It's only fair. If you're not going to hit, you need to sit. And he needs to go to Memphis and figure it out. We have too many players that could take his spot. Martinez, Harrison Bader. Uh, if we can make a trade, maybe Lance Land package with somebody else for Josh Donaldson uh, to Toronto. We can put him at the third. He could be the fear hitter in the lineup that we've been missing that people would be afraid of and make our lineup much better. We could have um, DeYoung play short and stop the Stanton uh, rumors because DeYoung is going to be a, a great shortstop. Um, put Carpenter probably in right field and uh, and have uh, Void at first and uh, put Jericho at second if it has to be that way. And um, you have a long jam in the outfield which means somebody's going to have to be packaged in a trade for Lance with Lance Lynn for Josh Donaldson to Toronto which would be the way to go. Um, if this team continues to falter, though, and we fall way behind, we have to consider firing Mike Bethini uh, because, um, you know, it's, it's just not, it's not acceptable, our record, to be three games under 500. If things continue to go into the toilet, we need to consider a managerial change. What I'm more uh, curious about than anything is why Moselak got promoted for doing such a lousy job in the first half. It's only fair if Matheny keeps his job with Mozilla getting a promotion, but at the same time, doing two stupid things doesn't make anything right. And the stupid thing, other than promoting Mozilla, which was stupid, it would be to have Matheny keep his job if we continue to play like crap. Even though it would be the fair thing to do because Mozilla got promoted, it wouldn't be the best thing to do if we continue to falter. So, um,. Something to think about. If we don't get any better, then uh, Matheny needs to to go, and somebody else needs to come in. So, anyway, uh, it looks like Mozeliak's the president. So hopefully he could do better uh, doing that than he has been at being a GM lately. Um, but if things continue to go south, Matheny is going to have to um, more likely be fired, and I'm sure he'll get a job somewhere else, no problemo. But we got to do what's best for us unless we're, we're okay being three games under 500. And I'm not okay with that. Nobody else in St. Louis should be either. So we need to trade for Josh Donaldson. I have him play third. Have Voight play first. Move Carpenter to right field. Bench Biscotti. Maybe even pack a time in a trade. Uh, put Fowler in left. Keep Fam in center. And, um, you know, that's what we should do. And keep DeYoung at short. And put Jericho at second. So that's my take on it. Um, it's not a popularity contest. We're not worried about hurting people's feelings here. What we need to do is those things. And what really uh, boggles my mind is when we got Dexter Fowler in the offseason, uh, people were saying how it's going to be so good to have somebody cheer people up and get them hyped up for the game. Um, I'm of the opinion that if you're making millions of dollars and you need a guy to come in from another team to join your team to cheer you up, to make you feel good about your job of playing a kid's game, getting paid multiple, multiple millions of dollars, then maybe you either need to get your head examined or you need to quit. Because if you need a cheerleader having a job that good, making that kind of money, then you're just really immature and you don't belong playing the game. I mean, you know, baseball players as it is are, are just, you know, they're loafing half efforts. It's the game's not half as entertaining as it was in the 80s. You're paying 10 times more to go see the game, 10 times more at concession stands, and you're getting a, not even a third of the product that I grew up watching. People don't run out ground balls no more. They loaf. They take their sweet time throwing a ball back into the infield. And they get overcompensated for it. So let's pay people to give, you know, efforts of half class. And it's not acceptable. If I was a manager, I would tell everybody who doesn't run out a ground ball at full speed uh, or run the bases at full speed on any kind of contact that you're going to be benched. But apparently we don't want to hurt nobody's feelings because that would rock the boat a little bit too much. And we can't do that, so let's continue to put up with half efforts. And it's not just the Cardinals, it's every team. 
And the way the game is so boring now, you got all these stoppages of, it's ridiculous. I mean, you, they got to instant replay and look at so many plays and you got people arguing over little calls left and right and, and, and the game has gotten really sissified. The players don't try and then they argue and whine and cry over every damn thing and then you can't even play the game two, three innings without having to keep looking at the instant replay. The game has completely gotten really slow and it's gotten really boring and I don't think they're going to worry about doing anything about it because they're making their money regardless and it's a sad state of affairs. I feel sorry for the kids today who grow up grow up watching this because what I saw in the 80s with Vince Coleman, Tommy Hearn, Willie McGee, Ozzy Smith, and events like where they tried full efforts, Jack Clark, and they cared about the game and they fundamentally played the game, that was fun to watch. This stuff today is boring as hell. Anyway, this is Bobby. Uh, subscribe below and I will talk to you soon. Have a good day. This is my opinion.